Look at me. Look at me. I am the one who tried to be exceptional, but no one cared. Fueled by the energy of tears, mixed with sweat and blood and unprepared for the stinging whip or the desert heat, for the deadened eyes and disdain from sheep, for the way that purpose, love affairs with perfection and lack of sleep would be ignored from Monday to Sunday and disdained all other days and insulted on a weekly basis. You, who are one of us, we think of ourselves as dust, not Adam. We praise calculation and spit upon creation. Who? Do you think you are? I am the diamond that dogs buried and forgot. I am the rose surrounded by forests of rot. I am the pearl eaten and excreted by swine. I am the tortured victim of time. I am the cure that was hidden to keep the payroll. I am the mansion that was raped by tornadoes. I am a serious artist in Barbados. I am a nugget of gold covered in coals. I am the solution that problem seekers avoid. I am the most valuable weapon deployed. I am class in the hands of an ignoramus. I am a glass being picked upon by plastic cups brought to my knees. My success never authentic, tied to lies. So when they say, that no one ever tried, that no one is good enough, that no one deserves the prize. They spit phlegm on the graves of all those who tried until the light died. So when they claim, after prejudice and choosing relationships over talent, that no one is good enough, they bury all the diamonds in the rough. And when they forget to love their own, those who survived their bitter way must leave them alone. And when those survivors... Those stifled do grow, they block their eyes and ears to those they used to know and travel, beaten and experienced and aware, to wave the foreign flag of the strangers who cared.